on this series of videos we're going to talk about building a particle system. The first video here we're going to explain how we're going to make this robot move back and forth across the stage and then in the next video we're going to talk about these little cogs. We're going to make the robot drop these cogs as it drives around. These are going to be the particles that the robot drops. If I look in the library we've got robot cog you'll notice it's like the smaller version of the ones that we worked with before and here's the robot now I'll put this library away we'll look we've got a document class robot doc very basic function all it's doing right now is we have imported events so that we can use the enter frame event and make the robot move so this function here move Robbie is going to run once per frame we're running at 24 frames a second so 24 times a second the robot is going to move either to the left or to the right. We've got a class for the robot inside there we've got a variable for his speed right now I've got it set at 4 so this is basically going to work out a, as 4 pixels every frame it's going to be moving to the left or to the right. There's a public function for returning that speed because we made this a private variable and we have a function for flipping the robot. This is going to make the robot face left or right and also change his direction of movement left or right. The coordinate system on the stage is the top left hand corner is position 0, 0. As you move farther to the right we're going up in numbers. So if I was to take the X position of the robot and add 4, I'm going to be shifting him 4 pixels, 4 pixels, 4 pixels, 4 pixels, 4 pixels, again and again and again. So that's what our functionality is going to do. We're going to move back and forth, back and forth, and we'll do an if statement to check and see if he's approached the edge of the stage or he's gone off the side of the stage. And when that happens, we're going to call his built in method to flip himself. Now, if his speed is 4, and we get to the end. We're going to take that speed and multiply it by negative 1. Basically, this is good. 4 will become negative 4. Subtracting 4 each time, he's going to move back across the stage in the other direction until he hits the other side of the stage. Flip again, and back. So this speed is going to go 4, negative 4, 4, negative 4, as he goes side to side. The scale x property Right now, he's at 100% scale, so his x scale value is 1. Multiply that by negative 1, you get negative 1. That is going to have the effect of just making him go from this to facing the opposite direction. It'll take this edge and swing it around over here. So we're going to flip this guy back and forth, and it will flip around his registration point, which we have dead center. Okay, so let's put the code in here. We want to move Robbie. Basically what we're going to do is we want to tell Robbie, that was the instance name that I gave back here in the FLA. If I select him, go to the properties panel, you can see Robbie. That is the instance name of this robot. I'm going to get rid of this card, we don't need it. But his instance name is Robbie. We're going to use that. So Robbie dot flip. That's going to call the flip function inside the robot class right here. That's the one that changed the speed and the scale x property. Now we just need to hold off on doing this until we reach one side or the other. So if Robbie dot x is greater than this, which is the current document, dot stage, dot stage width, there's a built in property for that, then we want to flip him. Now, I also want to do this when he gets back to the left hand side, so if the value is less than zero. So, or Robbie.x is less than zero. In either one of those cases, we want Robbie to flip. Okay, now that's our flipping. 
what about the actual movement itself? We can say that Robbie.x is going to be equal to itself plus Robbie.speed. That's his property that we created. So there he is. Off the side here. There we go. Here's Robbie. And he's going left and right when he reaches either position zero with his registration point or he reaches the stage width, he flips. And he's just going back and forth, back and forth. If we increase the speed, so if we go in here and say that his speed is eight instead of four, he should be able to run twice as fast. Pop it up to 20. And there we go. There he is, flying back and forth at 20 pixels per frame.